What's up, guys? This is Michael and Ray from AchievementHunter.com. Don't Ayo. know why I introduced you first. That was a mistake. Oh, Five okay. facts. Pokemon Snap. Yeah. The kind of one of the oddball Pokemon games in the series. You play yep. as, uh, what's it? Todd, Todd Snap. Todd Snap. Some fucking asshole. I've was never in the show. realized until now his last name was Snap. I didn't even know he was in the show. Yeah, was you didn't some know asshole. that? I yeah, totally he, fucking he forgot. He replaces Brock for a while. We, uh, we looked lame. it up. You're like, yeah, yeah, you play some asshole named Todd. And I looked yep. up. And Todd Snap. I think he's with you when Ash wins the Orange Isles fucking tournament or whatever. Yeah. It's like the one tournament he, he actually he ever takes wins the spot in the of game. like Brock, right? Yeah, Brock yeah. leaves to go like bang Jenny or some shit like that, All but then Jennies, it doesn't work out, so he destroys. comes back and Todd gets fucking fall. He falls into a volcano or something. So if you haven't played this game before, it's uh, like an on rails shooter, except instead Snapper. of a gun, you yeah. have a uh, a fucking camera and you're taking pictures of Pokemon and, and various baits. Yes, and balls. Remember, you get like a flute, and, like throw. an apple. Yeah. Maybe like a stun ball or yeah. some shit. Like the basic concept of the game is you gotta like fool the Pokemon into making the perfect pose and then snap their picture. Alright, let's go over some facts. Let's I have it. odds, Michael has even. So nice. fact number one. According to Nintendo's president, Satoru Iwata, this game started out as a picture taking game without any Pokemon in it. The idea of using the Pokemon universe came about after Nintendo wanted to give players a better motivation for taking pictures in the game. <laughs> well that fucking worked. <laughs> I wanna play that game if it was like yeah. oh, a tree. Oh a river. The Pokemon, For your uh, next quest, take a picture of some guy. <laughs> the Pokemon, uh, that was a good choice. Yeah, that Way was go, uh, smart, move, smart move. Uh, fact number two, originally Nintendo planned on releasing this game for the 64 Double D, which was the disk drive peripheral for the Nintendo, Nintendo 64. The switch to cartridge format was a result in Nintendo wanting to get the game out earlier instead of waiting for the 64 Double D to launch later in the year. Do you see? Do you know what a 64 DD is? I have no idea. It's the thing you put at the bottom of your Nintendo 64. It's like, it totally bombed in Japan, like it was only out yeah. for a couple of months, and it never made it over here. Sure it's like shit super didn't. fucking rare, and uh, I think it's I think it's disc-based. I would imagine. Which, uh, but, uh, yeah, so. I mean, it's a disc drive peripheral. Oh, no, there you go. Should have yeah. paid attention to a yeah. drink of water. So, uh, good, right. good move on uh, Nintendo, making it come out on the cartridge, so I know we actually play it for, uh, for one. Right. Uh, fact number three, although... This game claims to have many different types of Pokemon in it. The actual number of Pokemon in the game is 63 out of the uh, original 151. This, along with the game's short campaign and lack of replay value, led to criticisms from reviewers after the game came out. Absolutely true. 100% uh, accurate. Yeah. But as a kid, didn't give a shit about any of that. Yeah. New Pokemon game that wasn't Pokemon Stadium. I right. think Pokemon Stadium was out by now. Or maybe it came out later. I don't know. I think I don't know. it was all handheld shit this, until actually. this game came out. So. It's true. But to be fair, I think that's why people are pretty pissed off about it. It's like, yeah, it's coming out to the console. What is this? Yeah, what this why is, is it? Why can't third? I walk around? This isn't Palatown. Town. This is like kind of like Busta a safari town. zone. Yeah, no, that's what it was. Busta town. All right. Uh, oh, shit. That's my cue. All yeah. right. On the fact number four, it is believed that Magikarp and Gyarados are based on an ancient Chinese story where where carp that can leap over a dragon's gate at the top of a waterfall becomes dragons. Interesting. This is referenced in the game when you must knock a Magikarp into a waterfall in order to evolve it into a Gyarados. I do remember that from the game. Yeah, I think it doesn't happen right. in the actual game. No, but you get Pokemon to level Snap, like fifteen, maybe. You, you it's get the you get experience share, or you put him in and put you pull him, yeah. him out. He, it's you like do the Abra. You, you do the you do the work early on just to get out of the way. Or, when you get Gyarados, pretty badass. I wonder if you can throw him off a bridge in the game somehow. Yeah. Or if you get arrested for murdering your Pokemon. <laughs> Just throw it into a waterfall and never see it again. Yeah. But thought it was going <laughs> to evolve shit, fast. I, I didn't, really, work. didn't really want to train it. <laughs> I lose more Magikarp that way. <laughs> and the last fact, fact number five. When the game was released, Nintendo signed a deal with Blockbuster Video that let gamers bring save data to Blockbuster Store so they could print out pictures they took in the game. So exciting. Never utilized it. So worthless. It, never did it. And you had to pay for it. Did you? Yeah. I you, saw so, I saw the, like, the kiosks and the mm -hmm. Blockbusters, but I never... Never did it. I've mentioned this before. I like, I got the game. I was all excited about it. Uh, my my wee wee's all like raging to go to Blockbuster, and I was waiting for it. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. I called up one day, and this is like I'm like ten. You know, yeah. I need to get my mom to drive me there, and it's a whole big fucking ordeal. And I'm like, do you have the Pokemon Snap uh, Blockbuster arcade machine so I can print out the Snickers, the the stickers? And they're like, oh yeah, we got Pokemon Snap. I get there. They got the fucking game. This isn't this isn't. This the is machine, why Blockbuster man. isn't around you anymore. Fucker. I'm yep. sorry, your childhood. That's was okay. Right. It's okay, Ray. It's but, okay. Uh, I got them eventually. They took my money eventually. <laughs> Put those stickers all over the game cartridge. These are the pictures I took, and they're on the game that I took them in. Meta you still have, shit. You still have the cartridge? I still have it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Five facts in Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64. I think it's on the Virtual Console now as well. And if you haven't played it, I think it's still pretty fun. Time for a sequel.